Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to our Bumblecast, our Week in Review, our All-American Celebration. It is 4th of July weekend. You can see the Bumble is prepared for a party. We've got the Cato kid here. He's crazy. The wee one. Penny hanging out with us, too. So everybody very excited for America's big birthday bash. It should be a great celebration. Lots of big events planned by the dark-haired lady, including a barbecue. And who knows? Maybe we'll have to do a Bumble Bites uh, taste test. Maybe a hot dog or something like that. That's an all-American uh, 4th of July treat. So a uh, lot going on here in Bumble Land. As you can see, the crew is pretty uh, hyped up today. Got some news from Army Sun. He's doing well. He's at uh, Fort Riley in Kansas sit still. Uh, the big debate in the Army, um, well, I guess all the military. They're going to start letting transgender people into the military. Kind of a groundbreaking decision. I was talking to Army Sun about it. He didn't seem to think a big deal about it. The bigger deal in the Army these days is whether or not they should roll up their sleeves or not. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff they're talking about in the Army. They spend a lot of time debating uniforms. Of course, nothing like the Navy, which could spend all day talking about what uniform to wear. I was trying to think, well, how many uniforms Navy Sun has? He's got a white uniform for the summer, a dark blue uniform for the winter. He's got like a khaki uniform. I'm not sure when he's supposed to wear that. He's got a camouflage uniform. And he has like a work uniform which he wears on the flight deck. He's got like five uniforms. So I don't even know what happens if they show up to work in the wrong uniform, if they get in trouble or not. But um, the Navy's got a real uniform issue going on there. It gets a little confusing. I can't figure it out. But that's the military's problem here at home. The only thing we have to worry about is what to eat on the 4th of July. And we're planning uh, big things for that celebration as well. Not much going on with the little girl. Quiet right now. She's getting ready for that 4th of July barbecue too though. Our movie review this week is The Gift. Uh, this was an interesting movie with uh, Jason Bateman. Uh, kind of a thriller, suspense movie, uh, kind of creepy, scary. I have to tell you, it had a great ending, a great twist. It's, it's hard to find a movie these days that surprises you, but um, The Gift did. I, I, I liked it. Uh, the dark-haired lady liked it too, so if you get a chance to see The Gift, do so. And it, it, That's if you like that kind of movie. Again, it's kind of the creepy suspense thriller type movie. So. That's our movie review this week, is The Gift. Anyway, that's the latest in Bumble Land, our week in review. Again, it's all about the 4th of July and our big uh, Happy Birthday America celebration. Hope you guys have a good holiday weekend too, and we'll see you next week.